Hello, everybody. Um, I've been reading the French and uh, uh, English speaking press today about uh, the upcoming snap elections in France, and I thought to give a sort of a summary of that for an Australasian audience. If you're not familiar with what's happened, uh, Rassemblement National, uh, the party headed by uh, Marine Le Pen, absolutely creamed Macron's uh, Renaissance party in the European election so badly that he's called he's called for for domestic elections. Um, the way this is being presented in the international press is uh, as a battle between Macron and and Marine Marine Le Pen of uh, Rassemblement National. That's not quite true. Um, the presidential elections happen in 2027. So no matter what the outcome of the, the French elections in three weeks time, uh, Macron will, will remain president. Um, there was quite a good article about it in today's Telegraph uh, by Henry Samuel, where he, he talks about the equation from, from Macron's perspective. And what he's saying is that um, He's hoping that Macron will expose uh, Marine Le Pen's incompetence. But what isn't really sort of mentioned is um, is this guy who's standing in the photograph uh, uh, to Marine Le Pen's left. His name is is uh, Jordan Bardella, and he scares the shit out of the the French um, great and the good. And I'll tell you why. Um, if if Rassemblement National wins this election, he will be the prime minister, freeing up uh, uh, Marine Le Pen to to uh, run for president in in twenty twenty seven. Now um, he's often you hear him often described in, in in two terms. One is as as the Dauphin, which kind of means like heir apparent. Um, but the other term you often hear him described as is is variations on uh, on garçon de de Banalou, um, which is somewhat somewhat uh, pejorative. Okay, so firstly about uh, Rassemblement National, I'll call them the RN from now on. There, what they are is the successor to 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 Front National, the National Front. Um, uh, you know, people talk about. Uh, how it's unfair to always describe anyone to the right of Joseph Stalin as as far right. Well, these guys are far right. Um, there's there's just no question about that. Um, Marie Le Pen, Marie Le Pen is very much her father's daughter. Uh, he's a very very contentious figure. This guy um, uh, Jean Marie, he was an officer in, during the Algerian civil war. There are accusations of some pretty horrendous kind of war crime type stuff anti-immigrant and all that sort of thing okay now um the, the like french politics is really is really um r rather complicated and there's quite a lot of contrasts uh and you'll see if you look at an electoral map of france the regional areas tend to vote right and 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 also for parties like the rn who've gained credibility over the last decade or two with an anti-immigrant policy and all that sort of stuff um, whereas it's much more liberal inside inside the the larger urban centres, particularly Paris, um, and also. But what you have in 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 terms of the demographics around French cities, you have suburbs. They're 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 called uh, Ban Banlu, um, but Banlu has you you're familiar with um, French administrative divisions, things like cantons and departments and arrondissement. Um, Banlu means kind of suburb neighborhood, but it has quite a negative connotation. Um, uh, what once developed, it's it's um, it's associated with uh, areas where there is deprivation, where there's crime, where there's poverty, uh, and above all else, um, there's there's high immigration. So to be described as Bardella is as um, as uh, Garçon de Banalou is it, it, it probably a direct translation would be um, boy from the suburbs, but more more accurate might be um, boy from the ghetto. Okay, and the real concern this 
um, presents to to um, French liberal society is he's someone who's immigrant enough himself. One side of his family is Italian and French enough. The other side of his family is is traditional French to appeal to a cross section of the working class inside the Banalu. Um, and and that is a real concern because that's the sort of the the sort of the deprived areas that those those uh, left wing parties have traditionally relied upon. Uh, okay, so that's kind of the story. Um, he's he's an interesting guy, uh, uh, Badella, part Italian, part French by by extraction. Um, he's really young, like I think he might be twenty eight or twenty nine, um, and there's a really good chance this kid's going to be the next prime minister. And he is very representative of, you know, fascist would be going too far, but certainly uh, a hard right ideology, like very populist, very nationalist, very anti-immigration, like not quite putting people on 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 cattle trains and taking them to someplace bad, but uh, yeah, um, not too far off like you know you would not want to be applying for french citizenship as someone of african or middle eastern descent when these guys are in office uh which but hey to be fair reflects the sentiment a growing sentiment um across europe and and particularly in in france outside of the metropolitan centers all right so that's kind of the story uh macron is gambling um it's very very machiavellian he's hoping that either his party will win a majority in parliament that's unlikely or that that the the rn will make enough of a stuff up over the next two or three years for him to win the presidential election against uh marine le pen le pen rather all right so that's the story Simon TV. Uh, I'm going to try to do a few of these, you know, just like a really quick intro to something that captures my attention every day or two. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Tune in next time. See you. Bye.